What's going on, guys? What, what is a well, wave? Wave, do the wave. Wave. Anyways, what's going on, guys? It is good to be back. Good to be talking to you guys again. It's another vlog. And I, I gotta fill you in on what happened last night. Well, last night was um, a weak moment of sorts, you know. I, well, I was at Chick-fil-A, and um, I ate over 3,000 calories. I, I just, okay. To be honest, guys, I mean, to be honest, guys, yesterday was a really stressful day. Um, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Work sucked yesterday. One of the ladies that I work with was really, really mean to me yesterday. And, and the, the only reason I'm saying that is because, again, my life's not perfect. I go through bad stuff, too. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a fortunate person. But at the same time... Okay, enough of those face-to-faces. -face. Zoom back out, get back in energy mode. He, he, oh, I'm okay. Guys, I'm okay. Anyways, weak moment at Chick-fil-A. Due to stressful day, we're rapping, we're going weak. But we're coming back, we're getting at it. We're getting at it. We're doing it, and um, yeah, so today we're talking over here. <laughs> here is some camera equipment. This is a tripod that you guys see me use very often. This is a very nice tripod that has a sweet video head, has a bowl. Down here you loosen that, and then the top just goes then over here is a monopod, and on top is a new toy. This is a slider. I spent like an hour. I spent like an hour tensioning this thing. Watch. Oh, it's beautiful. This slider does not need three ways of support, but I mean. I have these three tools, they're all used for kind of different things, and I just mounted them all in here. So now the implications for exactly what I can do with this slider for a vlog, I don't really know what all that's going to look like, but I do know this, I will be able to get some awesome cinematic shots because of this slider. Like, is this weird? Vlogging with um, a slider, you know? Walking around just being like, whoa, go like that, and I can just let my baby go. No! Any ways I have a slider, which means I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be using one from now on, gosh dang. And I think this, um, this brings up an interesting topic of my camera gear. I have quite a bit of it, and how did I afford it? In fact, just earlier, today, someone commented, someone commented his name is Kajijuvakura. No joke, like seriously. He said, uh, how can you afford all the equipment? Question mark frowny face. And then I promptly replied eight minutes later that I will be making a video regarding this topic within a week. Thanks for the question. So today is that. And all of the pieces come together and make this awesome vlogging setup. I mean, just my vlogging setup that I carry in my hands on a daily basis alone costs over $2,000 for me. Now you might be able to find it for a little under $2,000, but it costs $2,000 for me to purchase. And all of these tripods and parts come out to about $500. My drone equipment 
is over a thousand dollars and my audio recording equipment not including the laptop is about five hundred dollars and I use all of these tools in different ways on a daily basis when I'm making my videos. I, I won't use, oh crud, oh, it's my food burning. Oh, it's not burning, we're good. Anyways, I use all this equipment on a pretty daily basis when I make my videos um, and they all help in small ways and th this is the reason I bought all of these pieces of equipment. If owning a monopod will only help in certain situations and will only really help in small ways. In order for it to pay off for me, I have to use it for a long time. And I have to get many small uses to get a large use out of it. Same goes for a slider. I can't use it for every shot. It's probably only really gonna be when I'm getting cinematic. So I, I bought it early on. And same with a video tripod. Um, same with a good microphone. I mean, all of these things cost quite a bit of money, so it makes sense to me when you have the money to spend it early so you get the most bang out of your buck. If I had to wait five years to get a video tripod, well, that's five less years that I used it and got use out of it. Now, the question of exactly how I afforded all this camera equipment, again, I gotta check on this thing in the oven. It's in there, been in there for quite a while. Now we're gonna check. All right, give me one moment while I pizza up my pizza. All right, the pizza's in the oven, I can continue. So now, how, how I actually afforded this camera equipment. I'm going to tell you a couple things that I did to afford this camera equipment. The first piece of camera equipment I bought was directly after I got married. I was on my honeymoon with my wife and I basically told her, Brie, we need to get a camera. We're starting a life together. I want to be able to save memories and take pictures. And so I, I convinced her, Okay, we had several thousand in savings because we'd been smart with our money, at least smartish with our money. And so we bought the Panasonic G7. And at the time it was about a thousand dollars. And we paid for that. And I, I like bought a microphone and a bag and just like a few other small things and uh, the Gorilla Pod as well. And so that, that was like a thousand bucks. Okay, fast forward to now. I am I I spoke with the head of the yearbook staff at my school and I asked if I could help do pictures for a scholarship and I got a $1200 scholarship to take pictures paid for my entire camera and some and I'll get it next year too and I'll make 1200 bucks again next year. So while that didn't really necessarily pay for my camera, it paid off my camera, if that makes any sense. If you view um, money as being a circle or like being something, it all comes around. So in other words, it, this is this is, this is is the way that I think. Like if I spend all like thousands of dollars on camera equipment and then I end up making millions off YouTube, it was a great deal even though I didn't actually pay for the camera equipment with the money from YouTube. The investment I made ended up paying off. So it totally did. If I didn't have this camera, I couldn't take pictures for the yearbook and I, I barely even have to do anything for that. It's great, it's barely any time, it's awesome. There's one way. The other thing that I want to tell you guys and I'm probably gonna make an entire separate video on this, but you should definitely buy, at least look into buying used equipment. I managed to pick up this Manfrotto tripod for about 100 bucks, and I resold that for like 160, literally, not a week ago. So I made 60 bucks, and then with that money, I bought this slider, and several little like smaller, these quick release plates here, right here. And I so I bought that. Um, so I, I $100 that I spent, out of my spending money, ended up multiplying and get me a very, very nice slider that's uh, that I can calibrate and is customizable. And I mean, I have three tripods mounted in there. Like it's a, it's a great slider. It's a bearing slider. It's pretty much as good as your slider gets at the price point. That smells so good. Look at this bad boy. Oh, baby. I love 300 calorie pizza. So yeah, used gear is a great investment if you're smart about it. You could obviously get ripped off, but just watch out, do your research. The other thing I'm gonna say is you need to come up with a budget. If you're just getting money in and blowing it out without any real purpose or any real planning, you're not probably gonna be able to actually buy as much gear even though you're spending away all your money. My wife and I use envelopes and we put money in different categories. So savings, spendings for me, spending for Brie. And our rule is my spending money, I can get whatever I want, I just have to tell her. I don't have to ask her, I have to tell her. And then other envelopes like entertainment, we have to ask and be mutually agreeing on. In other words, set in place a system that allows you to purchase gear. I get $200 a month, 
of spending and I almost always spend it on improving my YouTube setup, improving my gear and I already have something in my sights for this next um, upcoming month that I want to spend my spending on, my spending money on to get something new to progress and always improve my setup. Now if you're just starting out and like you're filming with your phone, that's cool but I want to give you this one piece of advice and that is to start big. I mean, I'm not rich, I, I'm just kind of like financially smart. By the way, the things that people tell you about being married, at least for me, I haven't yet seen how it's just really expensive to be married. Like, my wife works full time for us while I go to school and we're doing very well financially. So when I say go big, I mean like save up for something that's going to last and be improvable. So definitely save up for a camera with an interchangeable lens system. Because now I'm vlogging on a thousand dollar lens, but in the beginning I was vlogging on the one that came with the camera. So I'm, I wasn't locked into that. I could improve my gear. I started out with a cheap mic and I ended up buying a nicer one. So I, I just, be smart, you know, save up for the thing that's gonna last you, or is it's the kind of modular that you can improve. I have like 15 minutes before class starts, so I'm gonna cut it here, eat this pizza.